everyone and welcome to the mini toy love channel and today i'm going to be opening and unboxing um my recent purchase from disneyshopping.com and they do their twice a year annual sale thingy that they do um that is kind of ongoing and every now and then they actually put new merchandise on their site too so i purchased some mini plushies and i thought we would take a look at these um i think they're going to double well as ornaments as well so cute stuff um i got some alice in wonderland ones which i was really happy about because they were a late addition to their website so let's go ahead and get started they have a cute little magic in the mail mickey mouse bag <laughs> So first up, I have this adorable little Cheshire Cat plushie, and he's a pretty good size. Um, they are called Tiny Big Feet, and they're a whole series. There's a ton of characters. You can find them at the Disney stores, at Disneyland, and they originally retail for $6 or $5.95, and they had them on clearance for three, so half price, which is really good. And they're really soft, too. He has some nice embroidering on his, of course, the, the grin, the whiskers, the eyes, and the nose. And just a cute little style. And because they have such a big feet like that, they're just perfect for posing and sitting. That tag is like bigger than they are. So I picked up the treasure cat and you can't have a treasure cat without Alice. <laughs> Which she looks kind of cute. The humans aren't as cute as like some of the animal characters, but she has her classic black shoes, the little apron blue dress. So pretty good job with that, the bow in back. Her hair is really soft. And then the classic black bow. Cute little face. Um, a lot of them have the little off smile, which I think is cute. She has blue eyes and lashes. So I thought that was adorable. You don't find like much like Alice plush stuff nowadays. And then we have the white rabbit. I think I was most excited to see him. They did a really good job. Bunnies have big feet anyway. And look at his little pouty face. <laughs> He's stressed. He has the little glasses. His ears, they're not felt, but they're like a really soft plush material, although they're very thin. And he has his little fluffy cheeks, his outfit, even a button on his coat, which I thought was a pretty good detail for such a small little plush. And his fuzzy tail. So he might be my favorite design out of the Alice series. I think they did a good job to give them little personalities as well. So move down. <laughs> and then speaking of move down, we have the Mad Hatter. They didn't have the March hair. Now I'm not sure if they make the March hair or if they just didn't have them on the clearance site. But he has his classic hat. Cute little face, the black shoes, the bow tie. He's just crazy and fun. The white hair is almost like um, like a troll material a little bit, so it can stand up and, and be a little wild. I like the Mad Hatter. Awesome. And then they had one more in the Alice series, which I was really excited for, which is Dinah. Um, you don't see that much merchandise with Dinah. And she has the little flower crown, which is in that opening scene. Um, her snout's a little off, but she does have a little snout with a nose, cute little eyes and eyelashes, and then the bow that ties to, to her neck there. That is really cute. So just a fun collection and I just had to with the Alice um, in Wonderland plush. That's one of my favorite movies and definitely one of my favorite dark rides at Disneyland. Um, just Alice in Wonderland together, they all look so magical and fun. <laughs> I picked up two more tiny big feet. One is Mickey Mouse. I just thought he looks super sweet. Look at the little face off to the side with the smile. Um, he works really well with his big yellow shoes. He's wearing his little pants and of course the gloves. They had, they had many, they had a ton of different characters. But um, yeah, you had to get Mickey. And then the other one I picked up is Bullseye. I thought this art style was so cute. Look how he has his little saddle, his mane and tail and what a sweet little face and even the little hooves so he's he's a fun one too and again they're really soft and, and velvety bullseye especially that brown cloth is adorable and look at him from the side profile <laughs> so those were fun and very inexpensive little plushies and they had some really cute little hanger plushies of different desserts these don't have like a specific series like the tiny big feet did they just come with that tag and yeah i don't see if if it's a dessert series or what have you but they do have a little hanger tag and i think these would make really cute ornaments or just things to display 
and you gotta love the little Mickey Mouse cupcake. The ears are really soft. It even has like the Mickey head sprinkles and his little pants. <laughs> so that's a super cute one. We're gonna block some of our characters. And then of course I had to get the mini one. She comes with the polka dotted cupcake holder and polka dot sprinkles with the little bow on top. And again, all of them have this little hanger tag. So that's cute and they look so cute together. They had a couple other cupcakes, but the only other one I got was Donald. I thought his was really magical with his little blue, um, blue, red bow tie and the blue sailor hat. Now this piece is felt. Um, it's a thicker felt, but his hat is felt. And then he has the blue, red, and yellow sprinkles. It's just a cute design to represent the characters. I know they had Daisy and Goofy, I believe, were the other ones, maybe a Pluto. Um, but they just look so fun together. And then I purchased two more little plushies. One is the Mickey Mouse Donut, which looks absolutely delicious. They actually have a sugar cookie now that is made to look like this donut, which I, I definitely need to try that. But it has some cool embroidering on the chocolate. This part is a thicker felt. And then the sprinkles are embroidered on the main piece. So how fun would that be to have like a little like a dessert type tree? I've been wanting to do one of those for, for ages now, but one step closer with these cute plushies. And then I had to pick up the Minnie Mouse one, which is so cute in this gorgeous like pastel pink with the vibrant sprinkles. Um, I think together they just look absolutely adorable and quite delicious. And these have a different material. They're not velvety soft. They kind of have that shiny material. It's not very fuzzy, but um, it still kind of makes it look glossy, <laughs> which is really cool. And those were on clearance for $3 as well. Here's another look at all the Disney little mini plushies that I purchased from Disney Shopping. And you guys will have to let me know out of all these guys, which was your favorite one. Leave me a comment down below. As for me, they're all super cute, very affordable. I do, I'm very partial to the donuts. I love my fake foods, but the fact that you can also get like your favorite movie characters, um, I'm just happy that I was able to get the Alice in Wonderland set. And they have a bunch more that are either on clearance or full price, but even for $5.95, um, that's not too bad. That's a pretty decent price for a authentic little Disney plush. So that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. I do post a video each and every day, some days even two when I can. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.